name is Mike Bonenstengel. I'm the Director of Golf Course Maintenance here at Grandview Lodge. I oversee both the Pines, which is 27 holes here, and the Preserve Course, which is 18 holes. We are in Nisswa, Minnesota, which is just north of Brainerd, Minnesota, which is about two hours north of the Twin Cities metro area. Joel Goldstrand, who was a former golf pro at Minneapolis Golf Club in the Twin Cities, was the designer. He's done a number of golf courses in the state of Minnesota. So the Pines was built in 1989. We opened the Lakes and the Woods course in 1990. And then in 91, they began the construction on the Marsh course, which is the third nine. That opened in 1992. With the 27 holes here, we typically have a, this time of the year, have a seven o'clock start on one of the nines. So they would turn to the second nine. And then the third nine starts at, at nine o'clock and then they rotate the tee sheet throughout the day. I have a crew of 25, 26, including myself, my mechanic, and my assistant. It is a challenge to maintain the course, but again, we come in early, we get a good jump, you know, an hour and a half or two hour jump on the first tee time out there, so we try to get everything done on the first sweep. We cut, cut the greens uh, every day of the week, unless it's rain. Uh, we typically, we roll the greens as well, so we'll do that two to three times a week. Tees and fairways are on the same mowing schedule, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're on a regular aerification program with uh, tees and greens. Uh, we do not verify the fairways here. It's just too rocky out here. We've got creeping bent grass, poa mix on the greens, bluegrass, ryegrass, and poa mix on tees and fairways. They have a number of greens that tend to stay shady, so we've used the crystal blue links, which does better in the shade, has more shade tolerance. We've used that on a handful of the greens as well over the years. The pen cross is, the, is what these greens were originally seeded to, so we've continued to use that. Unfortunately, this spring, we ran into some issues with rain that happened in de mid-December, so we had icing on the greens. We lost a lot of turf. Most of it was poanua, so we were aggressively seeding these greens and have gotten them back to mostly bent grass, and we use pen cross and also PC 2.0. The pen cross, I like the, the aggressive lateral growth. It tends to fill in very, very quickly. It does have good heat and cold tolerance. It, it stands up to that. And now with the PC 2.0, it has good disease resistance as well, and it has the other characteristics of the pen cross. It is a little denser, so it should give us a little denser canopy as well. So we're gonna continue to use that. <laughs>